You don't want to miss this. The big showdown between Lightroom Denoise AI and Topaz Denoise AI. Who's going to win? Let's get into it. Okay, for the first bout here, we're going to have this sample image of this beautiful eastern bluebird coming into a nest box. This image is already in pretty good shape, but there's noise in the background. And if I zoom into 200%, Look at all that noise, and this is a fair subject, I think. It's already in decent focus. Let's go to 100%, not 200. It's already in decent focus here, so I think uh, it's not gonna give Topaz AI much of an advantage. We're strictly gonna be looking at what does the denoise do with this particular image right out of the box. We're not making any adjustments. We're not doing anything. I wanna see what the default settings will do for you. So first, I'm gonna right click on this. I'm gonna edit in Adobe Photoshop 2023. Okay, so we're in Photoshop. And now go to Filter, Topaz Labs, Topaz Photo AI. This is version 1.5, the latest version. We're gonna readjust this a little bit so that we're looking at just this and we're gonna let it do its thing not going to touch it not going to make any enhancements notice up in the right corner it says scanning the image so we're going to wait for that to scan it and give us our results okay so right away it's decided to remove the noise it has updated the preview already that's how fast it is okay remember i'm not i'm taking the defaults i'm not doing anything else if we look under here, we can see what it did. So it removed this much noise. It had a de-blur. So this de-blur thing right here, all that does is just add a little bit of sharpness. And I'm not gonna do any recovering of the detail because it did not recommend it. I'm gonna save it to Adobe Photoshop. It's gonna take a little bit to render. But look how fast it renders. Whoo! It's using that uh, NVIDIA card gonna save it we're gonna go back I'm gonna go back to Lightroom here okay now if I zoom in the noise is literally gone it's 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 there is no almost no noise if I zoom into 200% there, there's no noise it's it's completely smooth that may or may not be what you're going for and also by default I can't do anything about this notice how much sharper it is even at 200% if I go to 100%, very, very sharp, very, very sharp. It adds just a tiny bit of sharpness to compensate for that denoise. That's just the way it works out of the box. I didn't touch a thing. Okay, now let's see what happens when we use the built-in denoise AI. Okay, we're back in Lightroom now and we're gonna do the Lightroom denoise AI and we're gonna see the difference here. So we go into the develop module, we scroll down, uh, to the denoise, here it is, denoise, noise reduction, denoise, reduce noise with AI, the result will be saved as a new DNG. So it saves it to a DNG. We click the denoise, it says loading enhanced data. I'm gonna leave the denoise at 49, I guess percent it looks like. That's the default, we're gonna leave everything else the same. It's gonna go through here and it's going to do the enhanced view. now. This is the enhanced view. If we click and hold, we can see that it's not enhanced. Okay, that's the original. Now we let go and it does the enhanced version. So that gives you your little preview window there just like uh, AI does. So now we're gonna click the enhance button and away it goes to create the DNG. Go get yourself a cup of coffee, go uh, you know, wash the car real quick you know, um, see if your wife needs anything at the grocery store, um, whatever, and then come back later. Okay, we're about halfway through and I wanna show you guys something. This 44% memory, that is Adobe Lightroom. Look at the CPU. It's only at like 1.3% of the, of the CPU. Look over here, this GPU, that's not, that's, that is my screen capture software. That is not Lightroom. So if we scroll down through here, and we just take a quick look. Do we see anything else using the GPU? Okay, it could be this. It could be this right here, this 27.7% GPU. 
I, I don't think it's using it heavily though, um, because when I'm doing Topaz Denoise AI, I'm getting you know at you know 15, 20 percent GPU the whole time. It's fast and easy to use. The whole time I've been sitting here talking to you, it's only here. Look at this. It is only like a little over halfway there. Crazy. 15 minutes later. It's done. I can't believe it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's go back to the library real quick here and let's do a comparison. On the left, we have the Late Room Contender in this matchup. And on the right, we have the Topaz AI Contender. Let's take a zoom in and let's look at the noise on both images. Let's take it way in 200%. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not, but the Lightroom version takes the noise down um, and it makes it look a little more realistic like, the, like you would normally have uh, with a camera. So it actually makes it look normal. Uh, over here on Topaz AI, it's totally cleaned it up. It's, it's almost completely smooth, not quite, but almost completely smooth. There's a little bit of clumpiness in there, but not a whole lot to talk about. You know, we're at ISO 3200 here. This is uh, 309 millimeters with my Sony 200 to 600, f 6.3, 1 64th of a second. So the noise is controlled well in both. Let's look at overall image quality. If we just look at, look at the eye, let's go into the eye. That's the most important thing. We're now at 200%, so that's more than most people would look at it. Uh, if we look on the left for the Lightroom, you can see that it did nothing to really sharpen it. I don't think it's really designed to sharpen your image. Um, I could be wrong about that, but I don't think out of the box it does any sharpening. Whereas over here with Topaz AI, it's applied some very minor sharpening to compensate for any kind of denoise that went on with the subject. Now, because of that, over here we have just a little bit more detail in the Lightroom image. Both of these can be compensated for with the programs. Uh, on the left, with with Lightroom, you can you can sharpen this up afterward. Over here, during the process, I could have recovered some of this detail down here using the Recover slider in Topaz AI. Who is the winner in this? I tell you what, you decide, guys. For me. I was much happier with Topaz overall. It was faster. It was easier to use. It didn't, it, it, everything that it did was much faster, but it's been out for a while. These, they've perfected this uh, solution over here. But that's, speed is important. If you're a pro photographer, speed is very important. So I highly recommend that you look at Topaz. Yes, it's it costs some money. It's not bad. I think it's like a hundred and some dollars for, you know, the whole thing, like sharpen AI, uh, denoise AI. This particular application does it all. I mean, that's that's the thing. So I love to use in my workflow, just real quick, I love to use Lightroom for doing my, you know, my minor editing and then bring it into, um, because you're gonna end up with a TIFF, right? So that's the other thing here, is you end up with a TIFF file if you're gonna use this externally in Photoshop, whereas over here in Lightroom, you get a DNG file. So you've got a little more to work with. You know, it's up to you on how you wanna roll with that. The TIFF is fine, it's it's a pretty big file, but I've not had any issues with it whatsoever. It always looks good. It's up to you, you know, do you mind waiting, you know, 15 minutes every time you gotta do a photograph? Or would you rather not wait? Do you, do you prefer the smoothness over here of let's go out to 100 do you for, do you prefer the smoothness over here on the right versus on the left and this is just a, the first bout in this series guys the, the the bottom line is this image is not a very difficult image for noise removal so the next time i do one of these it will be a very very bad image and i want to see what these guys do out of the gate and then let's see if we have too much smoothing or if it's too, uh, it's not aggressive enough. Do I have to tweak it a lot? There's just all kinds of things here. This is just round one of this bout. And in my opinion, I score it to Topaz AI. 
Anyway, thanks for listening and watching. Make it a great day and get out there and enjoy nature. Bye bye. Hey, thanks for watching this video. You know, if you really want to help me out, and I hope you do, please click like and subscribe below. I know we all say this, but the fact is, there's nothing better that helps us than you being involved, than you watching these videos, and your support. Thanks a lot.